Well, hey, Team Bow Glow. I'm Dr. Whitney Bow, and this is a product roundup of my favorite vitamin C serums. Now, as a dermatologist, guys, I get asked every single day what products I recommend because people know I'm a total nerd. I'm a board certified dermatologist. I'm a research scientist. I'm also the founder of my own skincare line. So I take my product recommendations very, very seriously. You know, when I'm thinking about different brand recommendations, you know, I'm constantly testing those brands. I'm looking at the science. I'm reaching out to the companies. I'm reading the published, the unpublished literature. I'm looking at the ingredients. I'm looking at nuances behind the final formulation. I'm looking at all of the clinical testing that goes behind each one of those products claims. So here in today's video, I'm going to be summarizing. I'm going to be doing a roundup of my favorite vitamin C serum. So hopefully you can find the one that's the best fit for your skin's needs and your skin's goals. Now, before I dive in, if you're new to vitamin C or you're investing in a clinically proven vitamin C formulation, you're sort of leveling up your vitamin C game, then I highly recommend starting slow, especially if you have sensitive skin like I do. So what I would recommend doing is using your vitamin C serum once a day, every single morning for at least a week or two, make sure that your skin is tolerating it well before you start adding it to your evening routine. And if you have really sensitive skin or you're brand new to any vitamin C, it can't hurt to even do a patch test before you start that process. Just applying a little area, you know, right here or in the upper inner aspect of your arm, leave it for about 24 hours and just see if you get a reaction before you even dive in. So let's start with SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. So this one is made with 15% L-ascorbic acid. Now, not everybody can tolerate L-ascorbic acid. Some people are going to get a red itchy rash when they try to use a relatively high concentration of L-ascorbic acid. If you guys really wanna take a deep dive into the types of vitamin C serums, you know, the different ingredients behind them, the pH, the nuances behind the formulation, definitely check out my video on the truth about vitamin C serums. I'll link to that video below. But this one, l acid, it's a diva. It's a very, very unstable ingredient, but SkinCeuticals has done a great job of really getting that ingredient as stable as possible in this formulation. So this one is made with vitamin E and frulic acid, which actually helps stabilize the vitamin C in this formulation. I don't love that it comes in a dropper. You'll notice that it starts off as sort of a pale yellow and then it almost feels like a race against time that every time you open it, you can start to see that that color might start to shift and that's known as a process called oxidation. It also comes at a steep price point. I think this one, it's $180. You know, that's that's pretty expensive. Um, it's a big investment for a lot of people and l acid is not gonna to be tolerated by every skin type. You know, if you have sensitive skin, this may just not work for you. Um, also, if you are prone to breakouts, um, this may feel like it's a little bit heavy on the skin. My patients who are prone to acne, oily skin, combination skin, or breakouts don't love this formulation for their skin. But my patients who have very dry skin, uh, very mature skin, and they're looking for a really clinically effective, the most stable form of, of l acid, the best studied l acid serum out there, and they can tolerate it, this is a winner. So that brings me to another serum by SkinCeuticals. This is the Floritin CF. So this one actually is better for my patients who have more oily, acne-prone skin. It just has a lighter feel to it. It doesn't feel as heavy. It doesn't feel as occlusive. It's also using l acid. So if you're sensitive to l acid, again, this serum's not gonna be for you. And yes, it does come in a dropper. Now, both of these serums are gonna have a little bit of a hot dog smell, and that's because the ferulic acid, which is kind of a necessary evil because ferulic acid is a key ingredient that really helps to stabilize that very unstable vitamin C called l -ascorbic acid. And this one I think is also $180, $182. Okay, so next in the product roundup is the Skin Better Science Alto Defense Serum. So this one actually does not use l -ascorbic acid. It uses a, a vitamin C called tetrahexyl desyl ascorbate or THD ascorbate. So if you can't tolerate 
L-ascorbic acid. Or if you have very sensitive skin, you may love an antioxidant serum that has tetrahexyl desyl ascorbate. It's a lipid loving, very stable form of vitamin C that I find is much better tolerated by my patients who have sensitive skin. Now, they don't disclose exactly what percent of the tetrahexyl desyl that they're using in the formulation. It's listed about, I think, 11th on the ingredient list, and it uh, is underneath some other ingredients that are typically used at about a one to 2% concentration. Uh, but they're not just relying on the tetrahexyl, it's actually a blend of different antioxidants. So it's, it's a little bit less of a vitamin C specific serum and more of like an antioxidant defense serum. So I do love the packaging. I love that it comes in an airless pump, right? Because it's preventing that process of oxidation. It's protecting that formulation over time. It's not the most sustainable pump, you know, it has um, metallic accents, but I do really love that it's protecting the stability of that formulation over time. So this one retails for, I think it, I wanna say it's like 160, $165 for 30 mils. So, you know, again, it's on the pricey side, but it's an excellent option that many of my patients love. Next up, I'm gonna share my own Dr. Rainbo Beauty Vitamin C product. So this one is called Astacy. Guys, of course, I'm biased. I created this one, I formulated it myself, but I wanna tell you exactly what's in it, exactly why I chose the ingredients and what you can expect it to do for your skin. So this one uses a 15% total concentration of vitamin C, and I actually used two different forms of vitamin C. So I used tetrahexyl desyl ascorbate, but I also used 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. So one of them is more lipid loving, and one of them is more water loving. And it's that combination, when I started testing the different forms of vitamin C, it was really that when I started combining those two forms together that I started to really see this in, these incredible results in the skin. Now they're both incredibly stable and they dive into different parts of the skin. And that was really important to me because some of my patients struggle with deeper pigment issues. And I really wanted to develop a serum that was gonna help to brighten the dark spots, no matter what, where the dark spots were coming from. But it was also really important to me to be able to firm the skin over time with my vitamin C serum. You know, I really wanted to see a measurable change in fine lines and wrinkles. And that's not something that every vitamin C serum is able to accomplish. And when it comes to the texture, so it's actually very hydrating. So my patients actually use the word luxurious. I think they're referring to just the fact that it feels really nourishing, especially if you've ever tested or used other vitamin C serums in the past. Um, this one is really hydrating, really nourishing. The color comes from an ingredient called astaxanthin. So astaxanthin is a powerful antioxidant. It's actually considered to have about 100 times the antioxidant power compared to vitamin E. So this formulation actually also has vitamin E. It's under tocopherol in the ingredient list. Now, the results from our studies were so impressive that we actually just got them accepted for peer-reviewed publication in a top dermatology journal. So I'm going to be linking to that manuscript, to that publication underneath this video for those of you who want to nerd out. Now, the packaging, it's an opaque airless pump, but it's also refillable. So it's good for your wallet and it's good for the planet. And this one, it's fragrance free, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. This one's powerful guys. So if you're gonna start using it and you're new to a really powerful vitamin C, then I would just start using it once a day, every single morning. And if your skin does well with it, then after about one to two weeks, you can start including it at night as well. And this one is $88. Okay, I'm gonna finish my product roundup with two vitamin C serums that I actually recommend using at night. So normally I recommend using vitamin C at least in the morning and if your skin can tolerate it twice a day, but these are unique formulations, so I just wanna give you guys a heads up. So the first one is by Murad. Now, this vitamin C serum has vitamin C, but it also has two forms of alpha hydroxy acid. So it combines vitamin C with glycolic acid and lactic acid. I tell my patients, just be careful. If you're gonna be using that one, be careful about using it in the morning because it does make your skin more sensitive to the sun. And even if you're using it in the evening, you still wanna be really, really careful about sun protection every single morning if you decide to use that product. And because it has those alpha hydroxy acids, you may want to start off even just like, you know, one or two nights a week. Make sure your skin tolerates it before you try to increase the amount of nights that you're using it per week. And that one retails for about $88. And last but not least on my vitamin C roundup is the vitamin C by Medic 8. So this one, again, I recommend this one at night more because of its texture. It's definitely got a more oily consistency to it. 
Uh, so I, you know, it doesn't layer quite as well in my morning routine. You also just want to be careful about this one if you're sensitive to essential oils, because this one does have limonene and linalool in it, but it's one of the least expensive vitamin C serums out there. It's only $48. So if you like that sort of oily texture and you want something that's a little bit more on a budget, this is a great option. Now I will be sure to link to all of these products below. And if you want to learn a little bit more about the science behind these products, then definitely check out my video on the truth behind vitamin C. And be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so that the next time that you're on YouTube, I pop up and you can see me here. So, all right guys, see you next time.